Hi, everyone. Now, recently, somebody asked me to uh, show them how to take a audio file. So they have an audio file uh, that has like 20 songs all in a row. They're not separated at all. It, uh, maybe they recorded a concert, but they want to separate each song. So the easiest way to do that, from my standpoint, is download a program called Audacity. It is a free audio editing program. It's one of the easiest audio editing programs out there. So you download that and it's free. Now bring it up and this is what you will see. It will look something like this. And uh, then go and select the file that you want to uh, 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 copy or you want to work on. Now I'm going to just take any song that I have here and chop it up. So here we go. Now I'm going to make this and and you might have to play a little bit with this to get a feel for it but you can make this larger for example i'm going to make this a little larger now this has a little bit of music at the beginning and it's going to sound like this it's very very little but i I'm, i want you to get the idea as to how to do this so i've highlighted that by putting the my cursor over there and holding it down and it's now it's highlighted as you can see now I want to go to F file and to export and I want to export selected audio so make sure you follow this this is very important you do this export selected audio that means you're going to export just that part and I'm going to call this uh, music a music a so that these that's a file name hit save now it's also going to ask you what that is and here's where you would put in the metadata the name of the artist that you want to put in here and the name of the track the name of the song whatever that is you would just fill that in and you say okay bingo that's that's done now you don't want to confuse this you want to make sure that you get rid of this so go ahead and hit the scissors up here bang done Okay, now that's that part's finished. So let's let's re record the next part. This is another uh, song, right? Okay, we're going to call that your, your next song, and then all you need to do is go up here and go to File, and then hit Export, Selected Audio. Make sure you go to Selected Audio. That's what you have selected here, and we're going to call this um, music. B, save. Now it's going to ask you to put the name of the song and the track and all that sort of thing, and you'll fill that in yourself. Say, okay. And now that's done. Then go up here and hit the X and get rid of that because you've already done that now. And uh, so let's take this next little bite here. We'll take this whole bite here, whatever that is. We don't know what that is. We don't really care because I'm just giving you an example. Okay, this is the next song that we're going to put in here. I, once again, go up here to File, go to Export, Selected Audio, call this Music C. Music C. Or, or you can give it any file name you want. Best I don't give it a file name that's really long because it, it's, it's, it's better if you give it a very short file name because the metadata will then show up in the information that you need to know about what it actually is so here's where your metadata will show up you can see that that's right here all right okay hit okay all right now let's get out of here we've done all that and let's go back and take a look at what we've done all righty now here is the music that we recorded today music a music b and music c so let's go ahead and bring up music a in the editor again and this is all that's all that we recorded this is your first song and if you go to the up here to the top where it says edit and then you'll go down here to metadata you'll see that the name of the song and everything is right there and that's how you do it it's very simple so the easy answer to the question is download a free program, a free, free audit, audio editing program called Audacity, A-U-D-I-C-Y. And I will take you there in just a second here. Let's go there. 
So enter in Audacity in your search engine and make sure that you go to the Audacity team. That's this one here. Don't go to any of these other guys. Uh, there's some other places here that you can download it. And when you do so, what happens is that they try to download all kinds of other stuff that you don't really want. So don't do that. You want to definitely go to the Audacity team, go to downloads, and depending on which computer you're on, now in this particular case, I'm on a Mac computer. And it's going to say, do you want to download for Windows or you want to download for the Mac? And in this particular case, we would want a Audacity for the Mac. So you would click on there. And, and then you just download the program. So it, like I say, it doesn't cost anything. They'll ask you to donate or something like that. And you can if you want to donate $5 or something. It's a terrific program. Occasionally, I donate because I think it. Uh, I have to try to uh, let let them know that I appreciate them, and $5 is a cheap price to pay for a really good, very easy to operate editing program, Audacity. All right, Ron Kreider here, just uh, trying to answer some of your questions about how to do a, uh, a whole lot of songs. So you went to a concert, and there were a whole lot of songs, and you had an hour's worth of the concert, but you want to separate the songs and make them separate tracks and then, then play them back. Now, there's another thing you might want to do, and you might want to play them back uh, save them as mp3 files as opposed to WAV files. Now, I save everything as a WAV file because I like to edit it, but uh, you may want to save it as an mp3 file. If that's the case, I have another program up here that says how to convert from WAV to mp3, or you can tell Audacity to do it as well. Okay, Ron Kreider here. Thank you very much for watching. If you give me a like, I would appreciate it. Likes are good. I always like the likes. And if you have any questions, feel free to write to me. Send me an email to ronkreider at gmail.com or respond to this uh, YouTube video.